Mr Howarth, Gerald Howarth MP for our local area. He's turned up to our demonstration today outside the Tumbledown Dick. Thank you very much for turning up, Mr Howarth. Not at all, Fran. Can I'm I ask you what your feelings are about this historic building in Farnborough? Yes, I have felt very strongly for a long time that this building is one of the few buildings of architectural interest uh, in this part of uh, Farnborough. Uh, and I think it, it should be a tragedy to um, sweep it away and replace it with some ghastly modern building. There's plenty enough, plenty of those around already. Indeed. And furthermore, it has got a very historic um, background. This uh, this pub. It was one of the original coaching uh, inns. Yes. And there are many places like this uh, left, and I think that it would be, as I said, a tragedy if this were to be. Uh, bulldozed. I'm so glad you agree. And how do you feel about the news that's just come out about McDonald's trying to buy it? Well, I'm in touch uh, with the freeholders, uh, Bride Hall, and uh, I have got a meeting with them shortly uh, to discuss it further. Uh, obviously, I don't think that we need another uh, McDonald's, and uh, least of all do we need it here. Uh, there's a very uh, adequate McDonald's, which we as a family occasionally use, uh, over at uh, Farnborough Park. And I think that, um, Farnborough Gate, I'm sorry, over at Farnborough Gate. And I think that um, it would be a great loss to the town just to have another uh, another McDonald's here. Uh, where is it? How are they going to service it? This is a very busy main road. Dual carriageway. Yes, well you can hear the traffic now. Um, and, I, and I'm not sure, uh, people are telling me in Farnborough that do we need another McDonald's? No, we don't. And, and the answer is I don't think we no, do. We That's no disrespect to McDonald's. Um, I think they have to be a rather good training organisation. Yes. But uh, I don't think this is the right use of this building. No, it's a historic building and I think it would be a terrible tragedy Correct. if it was taken away from the community. And what we'd like to see as a campaign is, is somehow to acquire the building if we can, working with the council and the local authority and see if we can turn it into a community hub for culture and music and dance and arts. Well, I would really like to salute, Fran, the, the friends, what the Friends of Tumbledown Dick are doing. Thank you. I think this is a wonderful... Uh, um, grassroots up campaign. It is. We need a music centre, we need an art centre, and we think that this building is perfect for that. Yeah, I agree, and I, I think it would be a, a shame. I'm not against um, uh, development uh, per se, uh, but uh, you know, we've got this great building over here, which um, is architecturally um, uh, probably in the uh, fourth <laughs> division. Um, you know, we've got a brand new uh, uh, Sainsbury's over there. I think for people to be able to see a bit of Farnborough's history uh, as they drive Indeed. past, to be reminded of the coaching in days, yes, um, and to be reminded of the uh, r the rather exotic name. Exactly, and also we believe that the building's been here longer than most of Farnborough. And it just Indeed. seems to me, why do we want to throw the baby out with the bath water in order to, to have a new Farnborough? We don't need to Quite knock right. down our historical buildings to achieve that. Quite right. So we would love your support, and an well early donation would be fantastic. You're doing a great job. Thank you very much. Marvellous. Thank you. Oh, Good oh. luck. <laughs> Thank you.